combinatorial proofs are a way of translating counting arguments into uh, mathematical equations involving things like binomial coefficients, which uh, can be useful in some cases and seem to just acquire uh, a large fan base uh, in other cases. Let's look at an example that actually has some use. Uh, it's called Pascal's identity or Pascal's triangle identity. And it says that if you want to compute uh, the binomial coefficient and choose k, uh, it's sufficient to choose to add up the two binomial coefficients n minus 1 choose k and n minus 1 choose k. So this gives you a, uh, an orderly recursive way uh, on decreasing n to compute Pascal's identity um, that uh, comes in handy and also the structure of, uh, that you build out of this recurrence uh, forms a triangle. That's why it's called the triangle identity that uh, is useful in uh, proving a variety of properties of of binomial coefficients and prime numbers and other things. Okay, so there's the identity. Uh, how shall we prove it? Well, uh, the routine way is just to use the definition. Uh, and here, uh, without expecting you to study it closely, I've just indicated the algebraic manipulations in terms of factorials, expand the definition into its a quotient of factorials and fiddle the factorials, and then come out with um, a main step along the way of proving the answer. But I'm not interested in algebraic proof now. I'm interested in another way of proving an equation like this that is based on a counting argument. Um, and here's the argument. Let's consider the subsets of 1 through n and uh, let's classify them into two groups. The size k subsets that uh, have a 1 and the size k subsets that don't have a 1. Now together these things are going to be all the size k subsets, and of course uh, these are disjoint sets, so indeed the number of size k subsets by the sum rule is equal to the number of si so size k subsets with a 1 plus the number of size k subsets without a 1. All right, well, um, uh, the number of size, size k subsets is n choose k. That's, uh, in a certain sense, the definition of the, of the, uh, of the binomial coefficient n choose k. Um, What's n minus 1 choose k? Well, that's the number of, so of size k subsets without a 1. I remove 1 from the numbers 1 through n. I'm left with the numbers uh, 2 through n minus 1. And then I choose k of them to get a subset without 1. The other uh, collection of sets that I'm interested in is when I uh, commit to having the 1 in my set of, n, of k. And then that leaves me with k minus 1 more elements to choose among the remaining k minus 1 elements 2 through n. So I have n minus 1 choose k minus 1 ways to choose subsets of size k with a 1. And we've just proved it. Um, by the sum rule, uh, uh, I have a formula for these guys. I have a formula for those guys. The union of these two sets is that set. They're disjoint QED. Nice, simple proof. And suddenly you can start looking at equations like this and realize that uh, they are describing counting arguments often. Uh, and that, that is a uh, ingenious way sometimes to just knock them off. First of all, to remember what they mean and why they're important and also to prove them. Let's look at one, one more example. Um, uh, here is a obscure looking identity um, that actually also turns out to be uh, of use, but let's not go into that now. It's a pure, let's just take it as this pure uh, algebraic fact about uh, binomial coefficients. 2n choose n is equal to the sum from i equals 0 to n of the square of n choose i. Now, what on earth is that about and how do I think about it? Well, there's a hint in that if you look at 2n choose n, um, you can think of that as saying, okay, um, I can classify my subsets of n of 2n elements that I'm going to choose n of into two groups. Let's suppose that my 2n elements are a red set of numerals 1 through n and a black set of numerals 1 through n. Those are my 2n elements. I'm going to choose n of them. All right. And of course, the right-hand side is the number of size n subsets among these 2n uh, elements. And that's where I kind of maybe got this clue of splitting it up into reds and blacks. But really, I got the clue from the other side. Let's look at the left-hand side now. Well, here, I'm summing from i equals 1 to n of n choose i. Well, um, 
Notice that n choose i, of course, is the same as n choose n minus i. Um, there's combinatorial proof of that, after all. Um, choosing i out of n elements is the uh, that you're going to keep is the same as choosing the n minus i elements that you're not going to keep. So the equality between n choose i and n choose n minus i is it also can be proved by a combinatorial argument, as well as directly from the definition of the coefficient. So let's just change one of these n choose i. Uh, 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 there's a product of two of them because it's squared. Change one of them into n choose n minus i and n choose i. And now I can start making sense out of this one because what uh, n choose i I can think of is the number of ways to choose i subsets of the red elements. Or that is i of the red elements, a subset of size i of red elements. And then choose a, uh, the remaining n minus i black elements. Okay? So that every subset of n out of 2n elements, where the 2n elements are n reds and n blacks, you can just classify it by how many reds does it have. If it has i reds, then it has n minus i blacks. Um, and the number of such uh, subsets of, that have i reds and n minus i blacks is simply the number of ways to choose uh, i of the reds times the number of ways to choose uh, n minus i of the blacks. That's really an application of the product rule. And since every set of n out of these two n uh, elements that are red and black uh, is, has some number i, uh, and these are disjoint if I classify my subsets by how many reds they have, I can add them up for, from having zero reds to having n reds, and that's going to equal all the possible subsets of size n. And so the left-hand side is also the size n subsets by the sum rule, and that proves that the equality holds because both sides correspond to ways of counting the same thing, the size n subsets of a set of two n elements.